What's up guys, my name is Louis and today we're going to be talking about airsoft and 3D printing. Naturally, when I started airsoft, I wanted to incorporate my two favourite things, 3D printing and airsoft. So this is what happened. Now if you guys don't know, I stream every Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday over at Twitch.tv forward slash Louis Hitchcock. So if you have any questions, just come and ask. Now the first thing that I made while I started 3D printing for airsoft was this GoPro N3G mount. This allowed me to get awesome shots with my GoPro like this. This way. Yeah. Three, two, one, go! This mount worked great, however I had a few issues. First off, I chose a 3D print with only a single outer layer. This meant that the print wasn't very strong, causing it to break after a few games. I could have addressed this by increasing the amount of perimeter layers and increasing the infill of the part. However, this would have also increased print time, which I was on a limited amount of it. The next thing I decided to 3D print was this GoPro mount. This attached to the side of my gun on the Picatinny rail, and uh, however, it also had a few issues. Again, I made the same mistakes of only printing with a single outer layer, causing this part to crack. I also didn't design this part very well because I print, it was designed to print printed like that. As you can see, there's a massive overhang here and here, which caused a lot of issues while printing. In later revisions, I designed it as a flat part to print like that, and I included about 12 outer layers, which meant that this part is a lot stronger than this part in general. I haven't tested this part because of this whole quarantine thing, but we'll find out when we turn this over. By the way guys, if you want any videos on Airsoft and all these cameras in action, make sure to put a comment down below or the title card I have a yes or no. Make sure to, to drop your opinion. So far, I'd only printed functional parts for my Airsoft loadout. However, this time I wanted to print something more aesthetic. So I decided I was going to print a PEQ box. For anyone that doesn't know, it, a normal PEQ box contains a laser and a flashlight. But for this one, it is just a dummy box that's completely empty on the inside. I found this model and it was amazing. So I printed it in four parts and then super glued the parts together. I was then able to slide the completed part onto my gun and attach it with an M3 bolt. This worked perfectly and I think it looks so much more cool. I've experimented with printing other parts such as clip-on mag holders, but they weren't so successful, so I'm not gonna include them in this list. Thanks for watching guys. My name's been Louie and I stream every Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday over at twitch.tv for us Louis Hitchcock. If you guys want any more airsoft content, don't forget to leave a comment down below and, uh, and I'll make sure to do so. Anyway, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Why? Why would?